What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pot. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Woman says, I've been divorced and married three times. But wait, she's got some advice for you. So don't leave just yet. <laughs> I know you're ready to click out. You're like, what? Boom. Nah, stay tuned. No more wasting time. Let's see what she has to say. So I've been married and divorced three times. Mm-hmm. And if I could say one thing about my experience, and I mean, you can take it or leave it, mm -hmm. it's going to be this. Make sure that whoever you are dealing with, okay, whether it's, you know, somebody you're dating, yeah. long term, short term, your boyfriend, your girlfriend or whatever, make sure that wherever they are at that moment, mm. and by that moment, I mean, you know, if they don't lose any weight, if they don't get a better job, if they don't fix, you know, the childhood trauma, if they, you know, if they got a cat and you don't like cats, mm -hmm. wherever they are at that moment, mm -hmm. if you cannot deal with that, if you're thinking about, oh, well, if they change this and they change that and, you know, over time, then we'll grow to be, mm -mm. if they don't change a thing, is that somebody that you want to commit yourself to? See, what a lot of us, women especially, mm. what we do is we connect ourselves to the potential mm. that we feel a person has. Okay. And that potential doesn't always pan out. Sometimes we see something in somebody else that they don't necessarily get to realize or that they even see in themselves. But you got to understand that you have to love people where they are. And if they're showing a bunch of red flags and a bunch of deal breakers now, you have to know that if you commit yourself to that person, you could potentially be dealing with that for the rest of your life. Bullshit. I call bullshit. This woman just admitted to us that first of all, she's been married three times and been divorced three times, right? Three times. Times. Let's think about that for a second. First of all, we know one thing's for sure. She does not drink coffee. No, um, I'll have a tea, actually. So that's the first problem. And, you know, I, I should be used to that. And we can, you know, we can forgive that because we're not surprised. But on top of this, how can you be in three marriages and somehow not get on camera and think, I might be the problem? <laughs> How can you, how can you, how can that not just at least cr cross your mind just a little bit, man? Cause this is the truth. I can give her at least credit for this, for speaking some truth in the fact that yes, a lot of women pursue relationships thinking that they can change men and men pursue relationships, hoping that women don't change, right? But both parties, both men and women have to understand that's an unrealistic way of looking at life. I get this for first marriage. That's great advice third marriage second marriage then third marriage come on but of course guys she's not done yet so let's get back into it and listen to the rest of what she has to say if you're talking about marriage or long-term relationships so ignore the potential just throw that shit away mm -hmm. go ahead and take a look at where that person is right now if that's somebody that you can see yourself with long term until you leave this planet then you commit to that person but do not, do not, do not commit to somebody's potential because that that's that's not something that exists. It doesn't exist. Yeah, ma'am, you're ma the man you want doesn't exist. We've got a two minute video. I'm sorry, guys, this is blowing my mind. Two minute video here, and nowhere in this does she say, you know what? There's some things that I could have done differently. There's some things that I could have learned. Nothing. And we know she initiated the majority of those divorces if not all of them, but let's say she initiated just the majority, two out of three, two out of three. That means one of those men left you. And again, this is no different from the way you hear women usually describe how their marriage fell apart or how they initiated that divorce. It's, you know what? I should have seen the red flags. They were there all along. Ladies, let me warn you, you want to go with your gut instinct, follow your woman intuition, blah, 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 blah. The real story here is how am I in my late 40s and I'm yet to find a man who is good enough for me? Maybe it's time to look in the mirror. But guys, listen, 
I'm curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. As always, we're going to check out for these comments and see what the people have to say. First comment, it comes from a younger woman and she says, I just turned 23 last month and realized I can't fall in love with potential and I can't better a man. I can only be of influence. Okay, cool. That's great. This is a great thing for a woman to realize. But again, there needs to be practicality in all this because the typical man who's where they want him to be is an unrealistic expectation, right? When it comes to everything, height, and they're just not going to find that. Why? Because women are single, independent, working, and you don't get to have your cake and eat it too. Next comment from another person says, it's always the potential 500 plus likes. So she also struggles with finding a man who meets her standards. Another chick here says, another older woman here says, this is the reason I've been single for so long. Laugh out loud. But I disagree. I think the reason why this elderly woman has been single is because her username is woke underscore best friend. Here's, here are the nuances in this whole discussion. Women can marry, can marry anybody. Most women today can find someone to marry. When I discuss difficulties in women being able to find a husband, it's men who they probably should be taken seriously because that man is at your level. Those men they look down upon and they usually price themselves out of the market. A little bit confusing. Let me hit this from a different angle. This elderly woman is acting like she has some sort of influence when it comes to the final decision of whether the men that she wants, keyword is the men she wants, getting on that knee and actually proposing to her. No, they have the say. You are single as a woman in most cases because you couldn't get the man that you wanted. These guys exist. The question is, lady, why aren't they checking for you? Right? She goes on to say, for so long, laugh out loud, I don't be thinking about potential. You got to imagine this. You get to the end of your life and no man on earth, billions of people were good enough for you. And you just think you're that amazing. <laughs> another comment here from another chick says, it's our own expectations that hurt us in the end. Of course, she's talking about expectations of what I wish this man was and what he turned out to be instead. Another man here says she lost me at the married three times. With the surprised emoji will say she is the problem. This guy's like, nah, man, 1000 plus likes. He's like, you're the problem if you've been married and divorced three times. Another woman responded back to that guy and disagreed and says, or you can say she found three men that loved her enough to get married. That alone is amazing. No, it's not. It's not. She goes on to say some women never find one man to marry them. Okay, fair point, but that doesn't make finding three guys to marry you and then change their minds. Doesn't make you amazing. <laughs> <laughs> sure, the women who never find a guy to marry them, it's like, okay, that's the worst turnout. What's the next worst turnout is getting married three times and realizing you can't keep a man or get the man that you want, depending on how you want to look at it. Next comment from another chick says, I love that you are married three times. Again, the illusion here, encouraging the same mentality. She goes on to say, it shows you are very lovable, but also that you don't stay in a situation that you know isn't good for you. 1,000 plus likes. These are dangerous women, bro. Guys, this, this information, what you should learn from this is if you're a guy today who's crazy enough to get married, such as myself, right? Not legally, and I'm talking about me, you do whatever you want. But if you're crazy enough to put yourself in a situation where you want kids in a family and you know that a two-parent household is the best situation for those kids, right? Um, you want to pay close attention and understand the dialogue a modern woman has who will lead you to destruction when it comes to dating, relationships, marriage, etc. They sound like this. Married three times is a success. The Tia Maori thing of I didn't divorce, I graduated from my relationship. Next comment from somebody else says, divorce twice and this is facts. So this woman can relate. Another comment from another woman says, can we say us women sometimes live more in fantasy versus reality? Okay. I hate and also don't like coffee, right? Don't like the truth. This is interesting. So here's a woman admitting, hey, you know what? We tend to live in a fantasy versus the reality. 
She goes on to say, where is the intuition we stand on so strong at times? Wow. That's a good question. If women are so intuitive, because I've said in, in other videos that female intuition does not exist. Men and women, society, who allow women to trick them into thinking like women have some sort of like female intuition and they just know things. Nah, bro. If they knew things, then they wouldn't be in these type of situations. Now the chick here says, thank you, sis. I threw the potential away. So she divorced her man. Another man here says, I'm going to say if you made it to three divorces, it may just be you. You know, she doesn't like that coffee. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Goes on to say, but the advice is great for someone into their first. And I agree with that. Listen, guys, um, of course, curious to know what you think. Leave your comments down below. I appreciate you for checking out yet another episode of the Coffee Pot. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.